Hey, what's up, guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at you know, another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the DC, or not DC Multiverse, but DC Direct McFarlane Toys Digital Joker. This is the Joker from the Silver Age, and oh man, I'm so excited. I like, I remember when these, uh, the you know, the teaser images came out, I was, I was ecstatic. I can't believe this figure is actually here. This looks like to be the best Joker figure ever it, it, i love how it looks it looks great on the side you get dc or joker from this dc silver age and barcode at the bottom there is a platinum edition to this figure which was just recently revealed at comic-con where he has a black suit instead of this purple one get a barcode at the side nice image of the joker on the back not much more at the top so let's get to it and crack him open Before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. First comes with your basic, you know, McFarlane digital base. Then he comes with these two cards. This one is for the digital NFT code. And then this is the trading card that you get with the nice artwork on the front and a bio on the back. Out of the package, he comes with these two hands. He comes with this open hand and this hand that's playing, uh, holding playing cards, which I'm very happy that they included. And it's an accessory I've been wanting to see with the Joker for a long time. It was just like a deck of playing cards. But I'm already disappointed. They're not painted. They're all blank. Like, come on. It would have been nice to see, like, the the suits on there. Or at least them being Joker cards or something. I'm kind of disappointed that they're blank. That they're all blank. So, that kind of sucks. But you can pop the hand out. You also get... A left hand that's holding a joker fish which looks really nice it's painted really well i like this inclusion you get a c grip hand which is nice to see so that way he can hold his joker cane it's a very thick cane you just gotta slide it in to the fingers like so it's not easy to do the hand is very stiff it also comes with this other you know gripping hand for the left side which is this more gestured gripping hand which i really do like it that way he can hold his really nice cane i really like how he came with this cane it's uh, casted in green with this purple ribbon you can hold it like so and there you go i really like this gestured hand but i don't understand why is it the only the left side that gets interchangeable hands while we're stuck with this open hand it would have been nice to see some other hands for this side like another joker fish hand or another gripping hand or some fist some fist would have been nice now let's take a closer look at the clown prince of crime taking a, starting off with the head i gotta say this is a perfect head sculpt for the joker i absolutely love how this head looks get some little paint slop there but overall it's a great head i'm very happy that we have this head it looks nice comparing it to you know my normal joker head this is my kit bash as you can see you know i really like how this head looks it's way more expressive and it just really looks nice i really do like the colors on this joker figure like this is like, I remember I was freaking out when I saw this Joker figure, and I can't believe it's finally here. Like, compared to my Kit Bash, like, I really like this one a lot better. I really like these colors a lot. It looks great. I, this is just reuse of the Infinite Frontier one, but it's not a bad body. It's a pretty good body choice. I really do like it. Now, let's take a closer look at his articulation. Starting off with the head. It's on a dumbbell joint. Can look up that much. Can look down. Can rotate all the way around. And you do get tilt. Shoulders move up that much, they move down, they do rotate all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and McFarlane or swallows that hinge and rotate. This is all one big overlay, so it's going to hinder the torso articulation. Can crunch forward this much, crunch back not so much to get some tilt and rotation. Legs can kick forward and back, and you don't, you know, you don't get any thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. McFarlane ankle balls then move down and up, pivot and rotate, have toe articulation. Measuring out this new Silver Age Joker, he comes to around 7 inches tall. Here's this new Joker next to some other Jokers that I have in my collection. We have my custom Kit Bash Joker and the Mortal Kombat 11 Joker. And this custom Kit Bash has been my main Joker for a bit of a while now, almost a year. But I think it's going to be replaced by this guy. I really like these colors and I just overall really like the look of it. And here's this Joker figure. Next is some Batmans. We have the um, three Jokers Batman 
and the Nightfall Batman. And I can't wait for that new Golden, or not Golden Age, Silver Age Batman to put alongside this Joker. That They're going to look really good next to each other. And here's this new Silver Age Joker up on the rotating base. And I'd say this is probably McFarlane's best Joker so far. I really like it a lot. It's definitely got qualities I really like. I love the colors of the figure. It looks really good. I love that head sculpt. The accessories are nice, but I'm very disappointed to see that they're all for the left hand. Like, really? Why is it just the left hand? Can't, can we get, like, some extra hands for the right hand? And also the playing card hand. You know, it's cool to have, and I've been wanting to see that for a Joker figure for a long time. But why isn't it painted? Why, where are the suits? Where are the Joker logos? Why is it just plain white? Looks like he's handing out business cards, if anything. And that's definitely not what the Joker does. But overall, I think it's a great figure, and it's definitely going to take the spot of my main Joker. And I'm absolutely really happy with this figure. If you want this figure, you can get it. I think it is sold out on the McFarlane Toys right now. McFarlane Toy Store right now. Uh, I don't know if this is hitting stores anytime soon. I haven't seen anyone find it in stores. And like I said, there is a platinum chase to this figure where it's in a black suit. And yeah, again, the digital NFT thing, you know, we can always, we it's a, uh, it's a take it or leave it thing. It's not a thing for me. It's not a thing for a lot of people, but I'm very glad to have this figure in hand. It looks really good. And I'm very happy that it's going to be my main joker now. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next, in the next one. See ya.